River of Culture and Learning by Harindranath Chattopadhyay in this book by Veer Singh, edited by Lieutenant Colonel J.S. Valeria. I found it pretty interesting, so I'm going to read out from here, especially the poem on the kicker tree. So the river of culture and learning, in the land of five rivers, Ivir Singh may well be said to be the sixth, for he has always been known to his people as a river of culture and learning, one who has flowed for several years like a nourishing influence into their lives and sustaining them. So he writes, uh, that's how he's written this. And what I really found interesting was that uh, uh, he talks on page 86, he writes that thousands in our country will never be able to know, get to know his work in the original. Translations are seldom anything more than the wrong side of the rich embroidery. In rare instances, translations have surpassed the originals, as for example, Fitzgerald's translation of Omar Khayyam and some of the English renderings of Gitanjali, said to have been done by Rabindranath himself. In spite of his handicap, one cannot help sensing in the present translations which are being given to the world in the small volume that Pai Veer Singh is not only a true poet, but a great poet. His poem on the kicker tree, to quote only one instance, is a magnificent performance embodying a deep truth of life. It reaches out heaven words, dumbling and non-interferingly, wanting only a little space to root itself in and stand on it, stand on in order to turn towards the heavens. For all its out-branching and out-leafing and silent adoration of God, the world returns to it an inconceivably cruel offer, the axe. The poem is wonderful and strong, the cutting down of the tree by the axe without the tree uttering a word or a moan in itself goes to give it a greater place in our hearts than it might otherwise have had. So let's this is a kicker tree that he writes on. So I'm just going to read. Out of the dust, with a heavenward thrust, I rise and rise and turn my eyes thirstily to the Lord of the skies. My blossoms opened, my boughs unfurled. No village, no city, no palace nor hut do I need in this world, from which I silently stand aloof in rain and in storm and in hail. Through lightning flash and tempest gale, I never have asked for a roof. I love to look at the Lord of the skies with my thirsty eyes. All that I need is a tiny plot to re-root and fruit and blossom and die, fulfilling my single silent lot under the sky. Here have I burgeoned alone and stood world, O oh world. I've never asked you for raiment or food, world or oh world. I've never have asked you, I never have asked you to care for me. The Lord, he granted me ample love affording me rain showers enough, makes gold sunshine and blue air for me. I stand alone in myself and dumb, dumb and solitary and vast, ascetic of grey centuries past and of grey centuries to come. And yet, O oh world, the more I wax in a thirst for heaven and the greener my branches grow, the edge of your axe becomes the keener. So it's a beautiful poem that you've seen that uh, 
So it is at the deep heart center that all is eternal. There is the age old message by Veer Singh gives to us today in a world that is bruised and bled and broken. So there are many other uh, write-ups which I'm going to share.